What's up everybody and welcome back. My name is Sonia by the way, just in case you didn't know this is your first time here. I do videos on meal prepping, fitness and lifestyle. So today we're going to meal prep one of my favorites and something that's quick and easy, chicken fried rice. Are you ready to do this? Let's get started. Now the great thing about this recipe is that if you don't like chicken or you want a different protein, steak, pork, shrimp, scallop, lobster, whatever, or you want to make it totally vegetarian, you can just either omit the proteins altogether or you can just switch them out, okay? But today we're gonna to use chicken because that's what I have. So we'll be using about two pounds of chicken and then I'm gonna use a whole lot of different types of vegetables. We have some orange bell pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper. We have some yellow onion or Spanish onion and then hold on one second, peas and carrots. So you can really mix this up however you want. If you wanted to add string beans, if you wanted to add broccoli, zucchini, it doesn't matter. You can put whatever vegetables you want in there. And also for some extra added protein, we're gonna throw in some eggs. So let's go ahead and get started on the thing that's gonna take the longest, the chicken. So let's go ahead and cut up the chicken breast. Now you wanna cut it, I don't like thick pieces when I'm eating you know, like fried rice, I like to cut them pretty thin. Even though I buy skinless, boneless chicken breast, it still always comes with a bit of fat on it. So just trim that off prior to putting it in the pan. Again, we're trying to be as healthy as possible eating this fried rice. All right, so we'll go ahead and add two tablespoons of avocado oil. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. We're gonna add one teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of honey now, and one tablespoon of honey later. And then if you notice, I don't put any salt in my chicken fried rice because the soy sauce has plenty enough salt four days. So I'm using the low sodium version, which is probably like half the salt content, but it's still a lot. So just a couple tablespoons here. And then I have a couple cloves of garlic. All right, then I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger. So just about a half a teaspoonful. We're gonna mix this up and then let it cook for about four to five minutes until all the chicken is not pink anymore. And I'm cooking on this like electric skillet. So things here cook a little bit quicker. If you're cooking on the gas stove or on a regular electric stove. Just be mindful of your cooking time. You just wanna cook it until there's no more pink showing. You don't wanna overcook it. I'm gonna put a top on it and so that way it can cook through. All right, I'll see you back in a few minutes. All right, so the chicken is all done. I cooked it for about six to seven minutes in total. I got a little color on it. Uh, that's what you're looking for uh, when you're cooking it. I'm gonna remove the chicken and then we'll cook the vegetables. You're gonna see how quick and easy this is. And just to let you know, I wash my spatula every time that I flip the meat, especially when it's raw meat. All right, this goes to the side. We'll add another tablespoon of oil. You don't even have to clean the pan because you actually want all that good you know, seasoning to help season your, your vegetables and stuff. Orange bell pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and of course the Spanish onion. We're gonna add two more cloves of garlic and we're gonna add another half a teaspoon of ginger. Now, if you don't have fresh ginger, you can use powdered ginger. Same thing with garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, you can use granulated garlic. That's better, I can talk now. The one reason why I use the garlic press is because I want the, the garlic to be all like, you know, very fine. Same thing with the ginger. The worst thing to do is get a bite of this and have a big piece of like ginger. Um, chop it up very finely. Like that. And it goes, and you're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes until the onions become a little translucent. And also, if you like, you can add a little bit of like heat to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of jalapeno. If you don't like heat, you can omit it. One way to take the heat out of this is to actually don't put the seeds in. Uh, the more seeds in the membrane that you put in there, the, the hotter it is. Thank you. 
Again, that's about two tablespoons. All right, let's go ahead and remove the uh, peppers and onions. All right, now time to add the peas and carrots. I don't add the frozen vegetables with the um, actually fresh vegetables, simply because these are frozen and as these cook, they're gonna release water. I wanted the peppers and onions to be a little bit more crispy, you know, crunchier, to have texture. I'm gonna add about one fourth cup of water to it just to help cook it. We're not gonna add any more oil. Put the top on that for about three minutes and then we'll start bringing everything together. One thing you haven't seen me cook yet is the rice, right? So rice, when you're making fried rice, and I already have some cooked white rice here, you wanna use rice that is actually like cold. So you wanna have it already cooked, put it in the refrigerator, let it chill, and then use that. A lot of fried rice when they make it, um, the way traditionally, it's usually the rice that was from the previous day, um, you know, from you know yesterday's uh, dinner or whatever. I have a lot of it on hand. We're gonna throw about four to six of these cups of cooked rice into the pan with the vegetables in a second. So that's why I didn't cook the, get the rice cooker out because I had already cooked the rice. So cook your rice ahead of time and then come back and make this. That's why it's a really quick recipe. All right, so our bowl's getting bigger. Let's go ahead and take the peas and carrots off. All right, let's go ahead and cook the eggs. We'll add a little bit of oil. I'm actually out of my uh, like nonstick spray. So this is where I would normally use that to save on some of the calories. Not using that much. That was like a half a teaspoon. Go ahead and crack the four eggs. All right, just go ahead and mix them through. All right, take the egg off and in the bowl it goes with everything else. All right, that bowl is getting pretty full now. So let's go ahead and clean our pan out a little bit. All right, again, you want to spray with some nonstick spray. I don't have any, I'm just gonna use about a tablespoon of oil because we're gonna put the rice in to fry it up, so to speak. All right, that's six cups of rice that we're gonna use cooked rice. We're going to add another half a teaspoon of the uh, sesame oil. We use about another half a teaspoon of black pepper. We'll let that cook for a little bit, about three to four minutes. And then we'll go ahead and add our soy sauce, honey, and then the rest of the uh, veggies back to it. And that's fried rice, y'all. And normally I cook this on a stove in one pan. And what I'll do is I'll make a little center like this. And I'll crack the egg right in there and I'll let the egg cook and I'll keep stirring and stirring and stirring until the egg is, you know, pretty much all the way through. And then I'll mix it through and the heat finishes cooking, cooks the egg. But since I'm cooking it over here, I'm in a much smaller skillet. I cooked it separately. But make sure you cook your rice, you know, like I said, a day ahead of time and then put it in the refrigerator. That way, when you go to try to add all the ingredients to it, it'll really adhere and stick. Three minutes, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and add some soy sauce. This is going to be about one third of a cup. Saturate the rice. Not really saturated, but you know, put enough to give it some color. We're going to go ahead and add that last tablespoon of honey that I talked about earlier. Just one tape, one more tablespoon. You don't have to add the honey. I just think it gives it a nice little flavor profile, especially with all the heat from the jalapeno. Go ahead and add the, the vegetables, the meat, the protein, everything back in. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you, but I, I can smell this in here and uh, it smells quite delightful. Be mindful that my portion sizes, my the total amount that I'm cooking is a heck of a lot. I cook for three people for multiple days. If you're making this for yourself, then just cut the portions down in half or give it to a friend. But uh, I come from a big family because I only know how to cook big quantities. All right, this is pretty much done. Time to plate it and take a bite. Make sure to constantly keep stirring it because you don't want that rice to stick to the bottom of the pan. We didn't add a lot of oil, so it w some of it will stick. All right, this is done. Heat's off, it's clean up and plateable, the serving. All right, so uh, here it is. I even put a nice little bowl so we could, you know, come out pretty. Bam! 
that's my fried rice. And then you can top it with a little bit of a green onion, a little bit of cashew on top, and then a little sesame seed. That's a really darn good fried rice. I think that's just about as good as any Chinese store that you can go, you can go get it at. I'm not the best. <laughs> I'm not the best, but we'll go in. Mm. That's good. It tastes so fresh. Mm. I love all the vegetables in there. Can you see that? With the egg, there's egg in there as well. Chicken, peas, carrots. What do you think, y'all? All right, so if you like this recipe, you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, you know? And if you want to go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and do so. You never know when I put out another banger like this. And uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, you know, leave them down below. But uh, I want to eat this now, so uh, you know what I always say. Stay focused, stay positive, and keep it moving. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.